Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be upgrading the Prusa Mini with a very much needed light bar. So, as mentioned, the upgrade in today's video is a light bar. You can see above me, we've got the printer there with the uh, feature on, but it's an upgrade from in 3D space. Um, I found them via the Prusa website and it popped up on the 3D models and I thought, that looks really cool. It's a nice upgrade, it looks quite OEM and fits in nicely with the machine. You've probably seen in my other two videos on the Prusa that I've been moving a lamp around to try and light up the printing bed so this gets rid of that and just lights up the whole area makes it easier to work on easier to film and it's just a really nice and I think affordable way to improve your printer so today's video uncover the build of it we print the actual housing for it and then it's also a kit that I bought from in 3d space with all the hardware the LED strips and the aluminium channel for it to bolt together but let's get straight into that and show you how we we, we fit it so guys, we're getting straight into this print. We're dropping the 3D file onto the printer and starting that. This 3D file comes with a kit, but it's also available on its own. So if you have the hardware or you think you can pull together the bits you need, you can go straight ahead and do that. There's nothing stopping you do that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna watch the first layers go down. I always like to keep an eye on these first layers just to make sure everything's going smoothly. Um, normally, if it's gonna go wrong, it'll go wrong here. So once that's gone down, I'm happy. But you can see this print starts to take shape. Um, I have to say it was printed in maybe not the most conventional way. Um, it's recommended to stand apart on its end. Uh, this is the cleanest way to print it. We've got a bit of string in, but I think this is something we can address in a later process. But let's let this print and then move on to the next steps. So our print is complete. This is the housing for the LED light bar. It's printed pretty well, finished last night. So I haven't had a look, proper look at it yet, but we'll pull this off and then just have a quick walk around and just make sure it's printed as expected. So that's all printed. It's looking pretty decent. So we pop it off. Uh, one of my favorite bits is cracking the print from the bed flex the bed and it falls straight off which is lovely and then we're going to take a good look at our parts um, first impressions it's a nice shiny finish that um, PETG or PETG as I call it is looking good they're stringing but I think that's kind of to be expected with this style of print but um, we spotted a few imperfections which I'll, you can see here and I'll cover in this next section what I have noticed on the print, it's a pretty smooth print, you can see the finish is nice, but we have got a little issue here. It's almost like the printer, it had a, not tem it's not, I don't know what that is. Because it was a temporary clog, it would move across this way, but it's kind of followed a line down this edge here, so I don't know if anyone can point me in the direction of why that's happening, but um, I'll give a close up of that. But yeah, an interesting little defect, only in one area. So I mentioned we had some stringing and did a bit of research I found that a heat gun would be a good way to get rid of it. Um, what I've done here is made a massive mistake. This was my first time doing this and I've overheated the part. So you'll see this epic fail here as the part bends in my hand. And there's no easy way to fix this. This was a new part. So it got printed again. You can see we've got two new prints and we're gonna have another go starting with a knife and then we're going to get the heat gun on it and very lightly with much less temperature heat this up so now we've reprinted our parts and they're all ready to go let's get straight into the the kit you receive so this is what comes in the box you get a hardware kit full of your nuts and bolts you've got the power cable or the wire some aluminium extrusion which will hold the LEDs, uh, your sort of light diffusers, and then the LEDs themselves. And then in the hardware kit, 
quick overview, your nuts and bolts, your sort of standard stuff, some brass inserts which we'll be putting in, um, but it's everything you need to put this kit together so it's quite handy. So right, we're going to get straight into the build now, I'm going to stop talking and get this thing put together. So we're grabbing the machine because we have now built it and it's time to get this fitted. So these two screws are coming off at the top and we're going to fit the longer ones that come in the kit. So that's nice. And then we go down to the bottom where we need to put the power and ground for the light into the actual control power area. Um, in the kit you get these two wires, one's for ground and then one's a link wire that pulls power from the original point. Um, these fit in really easily you can see we've got a screw here for the ground and the power ones just press onto the spade terminals so that's no issue and then as always anyone who's got one of these knows you've got to kind of fiddle around and get this all pushed down perfectly before the screw goes in but once you've got that in, got that in there's no issues and you move upwards and refit your trim pushing that light wire down the side and it tucks it all away and that's pretty much it you've got your light fitted, it's wired in and all that's left is to plug this into a or into the mains adapter and test it out so you can see here the lights on it really does a good job of lighting up that bed and uh, yeah it's much better than having a lamp stuck over the printer so guys that is the end of today's video we've built the light bar and assembled it and we've got it on the printer I personally think that it's a really cool upgrade and it would be great if they offered something like this when you bought the machine as sort of an added extra um, I think it's a must-have but um, let me let me know what you guys think do you like it would you have it would you not have you built a better one Have you designed a better one um, what would you change if you if you were gonna add this one to your machine but I personally really like it and for the money it costs £19 to have the hardware kit and then shipping was extra but for £19 to have a kit that you can print and assemble I think that's really cool so it's a big thumbs up for me but that's the end of the video um, if you guys enjoyed it I always appreciate a like and subscribe it goes a long way but there'll be some more videos coming soon so keep tuned and I'll see you in the next one